sorry we tied it because <laughs> we let you know we were dominating, let it for the whole game, and uh, it got soft at the end, made some turnovers. We just got through saying in the timeout that if we don't make turnovers, we win the game, and then we went out and made a bunch of turnovers. So, uh, um, but it was you know looking back on it, it it's just great for the fans. Everybody's gonna remember. I was I was kidding Calvin that. Uh, Robert's going to own some money from the endorsements he gets for being an all-star legend, you know, and making him an all-star legend. So, uh, uh, you know, Robert made that incredible shot, and that's what he does. He makes those incredible shots, and uh, why he's an all-star. So, um, like I said, you know, it leaves us with a little bit of a sour taste in our mouth because we did lead the whole game, but, and the bottom line is that this is for the fans, and it was, uh, it was a beautiful game for the fans. You know, if we were like trying to let them stay in the game or trying to get them, then, then we would, you know. But it happened naturally. It just they they put on the pressure. We succumbed to it, and they got to the tie, and it was uh, so. That's what made the, the game really good for the fans. Uh, but you know, again, it's just so much fun being around these guys and and doing this kind of thing, you know, getting to know guys like Paulie and even guys like Aris and. And Don Trigliano, who I've never coached before, all these guys, it's, it's a lot of fun. So I really enjoy it. Can you say about that five-point play of uh, Robert Boyd? Well, that's, that's, that's Robert. That's what I said. I just said earlier that uh, um, it's going to be a, it's a legendary Wait, shot. It's going to be an all-star legend shot. Uh, the next ten all-stars are always going to talk about that particular shot. So, uh, like I said, I was kidding Calvin that uh, he made Robert a, a, a legend. If they ever get to the endorsements for that, then he should I'll give a percentage to uh, Calvin. Uh, but, uh, you know, up four and uh, take it foul in a four point play. And, yeah. But it's an all star game. Most things happen in an all star game. Coach, did you handle James Yap? He became your player back in Sandy League, and now it's his 18th straight all star appearance. What can you say about this one? Oh, James is just a, he's like a freak of nature. You know, he's, he's not normal. He's not a normal human being. He, he finds a way to keep his body in shape. He finds a way to, to stay sharp. Um, you know, he finds a way to stay effective even at his age. And so, uh, you know, I experienced that. I experienced that for for five years, and and I experienced it through a Grand Slam, and and he was the MVP in almost every one of those final series. Uh, I know how he makes big shots and big plays, big moments. So. Uh, nothing surprises me with James. Coach, from a coaching standpoint, how difficult is it to coach a game that has a four-point shot or a three-point down? Well, you just, you just, you know, you just roll with it. You know, I mean, uh, uh, you know, we practiced it during our practice time and, and our one practice. We had a guy shoot a lot of four-point shots and just to get a feel for it and the distance. Um, uh, Jap attracted Paul Lee on purpose just because of the four point line. So, uh, you know, there was some strategy involved there. And, and uh, um, but I thought the, the best part about it was the, the alley oop dumps of Jap off Terrence's passes. Those were awesome. And, uh, uh, but, you know, it, 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 it's different. And, you know, you really don't coach much in this, <laughs> in this thing, there's, there's not much you can do. Uh, you don't. There's not much strategy. You just try to, you know, put guys out there. I thought George, Coach George, did a really good job of uh, bringing out the, the pressure team down the stretch and, and putting the pressure on us. Uh, we, you know, we lacked point guard. We didn't have Scotty. Uh, Terrence came late today, so you know, he, he 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 wasn't really prepared to, to to play as much as some of the other guys. So we didn't really have a pure point guard uh, outside of uh, maybe New, and New is not a you know, a pure point guard. So, um, you know, Maverick was injured, so he couldn't play. So we really had no point guards to battle that pressure down the stretch. So it was a good move by Coach George. But you were earlier questioning about that uh, dunk of... Yeah, I, mean, I, I just tell the referees, reward them for, you know, for, for what it is. We're out there trying to put out a good game and we're playing hard and, uh, you know, they got a referee hard. You know, if they expect us to play hard, I, I, that's one thing I always be believe about referees. If, if, you know, if we play hard, then we expect the referees to referee hard. And uh, um, so, yeah, I just got to gave them a hard time. You know, because it, it obviously wasn't a dunk. But then later on, I think <laughs> Jumar made a dunk. 
And then they didn't give it to him because he didn't go all the way over. He kind of went stop. So it was me bowing. So <laughs> what can I say? You know, it, it, it evens out. It usually does. But you feel big uh, difference. Uh, yeah, you know, again, it's an all-star game. If it was like a, a regular game, you know, I'd be a lot angrier. You know, I was only angry for a little time. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like what I said, if, if this is going to be a competitive game, then, you know, referees have to think of it as a competitive game also. also and, and, and call it you know, how they would normally call it. They're going to call it loose and fun, then that's going to make the players play loose and fun. You know, so uh, uh, I thought they did a good job overall.